If you are looking for a super secure and fast VPN connection for your Windows PC, you are in the right place. Today, I am going to show you how to manually set up NordVPN on a Windows PC with IKE v2 or IPsec protocol. It's little more hands-on than the usual setup, but trust me, it's worth it for the extra security and speed. So let's get started. Before going ahead, make sure you have an active NordVPN subscription. If you don't, I've got a link in the description where you can sign up and get a great deal. First, you need to download the NordVPN certificate. Open this link in your browser and download the certificate file. Don't worry, I'll put the link in the video description as well. You need to install the NordVPN certificate to verify the identity of the NordVPN server you are connecting to. The certificate is also required to establish a secure and encrypted connection between your device and the VPN server. So, to install it, double click the root.cer file and click open. In the certificate window, click install certificate. Select local machine and click next. Choose place all certificate in the following store. Click browse and select trusted root certification authorities. Click next and then finish. The NordVPN certificate is installed on the PC. Next, I'll recommend you to limit the certificate's usage to VPN server authentication only. To do so, open the run dialog by pressing Windows plus R and type certmgr.msc to open the certificate management tool. Navigate to trusted root certification authorities. Open certificates and find NordVPN root CA. Right click NordVPN root CA. Select Properties. Check Enable only for the following purposes. Then uncheck all the boxes except Server Authentication. The other purposes listed here are not relevant to establishing a secure VPN connection. By unchecking them, you are ensuring that the certificate functions as intended for VPN use only. Click Apply and OK. Next, we'll set up the VPN connection. Open the control panel and go to Network and Internet. And then Network and Sharing Center. Click Set up a new connection or network. Select Connect to a workplace. Choose Use my internet connection VPN. In the Internet address field, you need to enter a VPN server host name from the NordVPN server list. Here, select the country and then it will show a recommended server for you. Just copy the server hostname from here and paste it into this internet address field. In the destination name field, enter any name you like. Now click Change Adapter Settings. Here you can see the new NordVPN connection that we just set up. Right click on it and select Properties. Under the Security tab, set the type of VPN to IKE v2 and data encryption to require encryption. Select Use Extensible Authentication Protocol EAP and choose EAP MSCHAP version 2. This authentication protocol offers a good balance between security and compatibility with NordVPN servers. Under the Networking tab, uncheck Internet Protocol version 6. NordVPN doesn't fully support IP version 6 on all their servers, so disabling it will prevent potential connectivity issues. Now open Network and Internet settings. Go to VPN. Find your connection and click Advanced option. Click Edit. Here you have to enter your NordVPN service credentials which you can find in your NordVPN account dashboard under the Manual Setup section.
After entering your NordVPN service username and password, save the settings. Finally, click the network icon in the system tray. Select your VPN connection and click connect. When you are trying to connect to the VPN, you might see the policy match error. This is because Windows by default uses weaker DEFI Hellman or DF groups for key exchange, which some VPN providers including NordVPN don't support for security reasons. To fix this error, we have to do a registry tweak. To do so, open the registry editor. Go to this location. Here, create a new value and name it negotiate dh2048 underscore ae256. Then set its value to 1. Setting this registry value to 1 forces window to use a stronger DH group with 2048 bit key length and AES256 encryption, ensuring compatibility with the NordVPN server security policy and preventing the policy match error. That's it. You can now go ahead and connect to the NordVPN server without any issues. Later, if you want to remove the NordVPN setup from your PC, please follow the steps. First, open the network connections window by pressing Windows plus R and typing ncpa.cpl. Here, right click on the NordVPN connection and select delete. After that, you need to uninstall the NordVPN certificate. To do so, open certificate manager by pressing Windows key plus R and type CERTMGR.msc Go to Trusted Root Certification Authorities Certificates Find the NordVPN certificate here. Right click the NordVPN certificate and select Delete. Finally, to ensure the changes take effect, restart your PC. So, guys, that's how you set up NordVPN on Windows using IKE V2 or IPsec for a secure and speedy connection. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.